Hello everybody! Hi! Okay, so um, a lot of you commented on our previous video about um, daily devotional or journaling and you wanted to get more from it. Um, also, I shared my monthly spread to my um, discipler group. So, those are the ladies that I meet every Saturday where we do our Bible study or just, you know, share anything about our lives. And so, I also shared with them my monthly spread on how, you know, I wanted to do it, uh, you know, a little bit slower to make sure that it's doable and to make sure that I don't get too cramped on what are the things that I need to do just so, you know, it makes me feel like doing Bible study or Bible devotion like a tedious thing to do it's like a responsibility and you're not enjoying it so i come up with a plan and i just wanted to share it with everybody um so that you know if this is something that would also work for you then it's great uh, but this is something that i will do for the entire july um that i hope would really help me to enjoy more of what i'm doing with my bible devotions and with how i can render um, service as well with the time that God has given me. So, as you can see here, um, so this is my Bible and these are the pens and highlighters that I usually use. I want, I always wanted to highlight um, verses that I read from the Bible. So, these are the highlighters that I've got. I have this since, I don't know, maybe 2012, 2011. And, of course, this is Dong A, a my gel pen. I just bought it um, recently. And these are some of just my stickers um, that I use for, you know, just decorating my journal. Um, I've shared with you before that I use a notebook for my daily devotion. So, this one is another way to do it. So, I have my journal, um... Uh, like a notebook to do my Bible devotions or Bible study. This one is new. This is a gift from a friend. Um, she's actually my manager way back in 2011, 2013, I think, where, when I was still in the U.S. And she just remembered me recently and she purchased this for me because she's um, in the U.S. now. And thank you! Thank you, Chanes! I really appreciate your thoughtfulness on this. I really love this. Um, it gives me uh, like a better plan on how I should go about with my uh, Bible journey. So, this is from Recollections. Faith can move mountains and I'll show you um, what it can actually do and help you with. I also wanted to come up with like um, something like this where uh, maybe I can showcase with you how you can do your one week Bible journaling or maybe a month of Bible journaling, etc. But that would come in in the future. So anyway, here's my um, journal. You can also do this in a notebook um, just so you'll have an idea. Uh, but I just wanted to show you what I did for the month of July. So here um, they have these zippies and what I had in my zippies, I will just show with you. These are our own, so Scrapbooky Crafter Bible Journaling um, cards. It actually has um, different Bible verses. Each card has unique Bible verses. And for one pack, you'll have 12 Bible verses that has actually its own theme. So here it's actually from different um, Bible packs or Bible journaling packs that we have. And I just wanted to share it with you. So if you want this, you can always send us um, a message through our Instagram or Facebook. Um, you can use this in your Bible journaling. Just what I um, shared with you on my past video uh, on how you can use your Bible journaling cards. Uh, so if you haven't watched that, watch it on my previous video. And then we also have our own stickers. So these are our own collections of stickers of different encouraging words, um, different Bible verses and Bible chapters and verses as well here. There you go. So here it's, you know, like your word is a lamp to my path and a light to my feet, something like that. Um, this one is... Um, taste and see, I think. Taste and see that the Lord is good. So, it's really nice, right? And this one, I think we actually have a customized order for this. 
um, this is really good so if you wanted this kind of stickers we also have that in in store for you so you can just send us a message in our facebook and in our instagram we also have shopee um it's already there you can also purchase it directly it's pre-order okay so here this is my planner okay so i haven't um i haven't tried anything on this yet uh this is a scripture reading chart i still have to plan out how i wanted um, my mid-year start because uh, i'm starting in from july uh, until the next year of july okay so they also have stickers already available for you to be used these are all stickers of different months here different tab months it also has this small um, stickers that says Bible study, etc. And these are the other stickers that you can use like check marks, stars, etc. And I, I will show you how I actually used it in my monthly spread. Okay? Alright. And this one I love because it actually like gives you, um, you know, things that you wanted to plan on. So you have this scripture study, service project um things that you wanted to pray for don't forget choir practice church activity etc felt inspired so it's really nice okay and then you also have this like a tab that you can you know put in as an intro if you wanted to write in on some prayer request that you have and then here um pray then here, Bible study. I used some of it already, as you can see. It's already blank here. I already put it in my monthly spread. So, okay. They also have this, like something that you can put in, maybe your other notes that you can put in there. So, here's my July monthly spread. Okay, so this is the July. And here's my monthly spread. Let me just show you. Okay like a high level and i think this is the request from my d group so i'm actually doing this um video for them uh so that it would be easier to you know share with them how they can also do it for their entire month of july so here it is on the first week so i have sunday monday tuesday wednesday what i did is i planned it according to the day so for sunday i made sure that it's just free anything that goes with it so definitely because sunday should be your time with the lord so you know you do your um uh, sunday service and then you do your devotion etc because that is your sabbath time you have to take a rest from um, the things that you usually do in your weekdays like work right so you stop working just spend your time with the lord on monday um, since that's the first day of the week, that's where I put this small sticker. As you can see, Bible study, Bible study, Bible study. Um, so, most of us doesn't have the luxury of time every day because of the work duties, other duties that you have for your family at home, etc. So, um, most of the time people felt pressured or it's cumbersome for them to do a deep dive bible study every day and instead of you know making it like uh, something that they look forward to to commune with the lord they don't do it because they felt that whatever that they do it's inadequate because of the time so what i did was every monday that i will devote time to really do a deep dive bible study on um um on the words of the bible right so that's that's where i will do it i will devote a time on monday to do a really thorough deep dive of um doing a bible study on tuesday however this would be the time to really um commune with the lord with all of the things that i am grateful for um for all of my um you know gratefulness thankfulness that i wanted to lift up to him so this would be the time of prayer of devotion that the theme is thankful what are you thankful for not just for that day but you know anything that uh, you can think of from the past years past months months past weeks etc for as long as you can think of something to be grateful for that is for me it's really essential to have a day devoted for just being thankful especially during this time of pandemic 
you know, because everything, most of the things that we can think about pa pandemic is challenging, right? And so we have to go back to our, you know, core and bring about all of the faithfulness of the Lord that um, He was able to carry you through so that you can you know, strengthen your faith knowing that the Lord has always been faithful and that's one of the things why you have to devote um, a thankfulness day for Him. And on Wednesday, uh, these are the day for remembering or don't forget. It could be something about your um, the testimony of the faith, uh, faithfulness of the Lord. What is the difference be between thankfulness and, you know, um, don't forget. Don't forget is a reminder of the things where, you know, it could be a challenging time where you find yourself being surrounded with people praying for you. You know, you're grateful um, as well on that, but this is something that actually encourages you. It's more of an encouragement day for you, right? So that would be my Wednesday. The next day would be Thursday, and for Thursday, I devoted this as a prayer time, prayer for other people. So, what I do is, before Thursday, um, I will gather prayer requests from my friends, from family, from other people, and then I will write, write them down here. I will devote each day to pray specifically for those prayer requests that has been given to me. Um, in that way, we will always be reminded that we're not the only one who has challenges. We're not the only one who's facing difficulties in life. There are other people who also needs us to pray with them and pray for the Lord to give them strength and mercy and blessing, right? So um, that day would also remind us that we're not alone. There are other people who also, you know, needs blessings and needs guidance and needs reassurance that people cares for them and people wanted to hear, you know, you know what kind of um, prayer uh, they would want other people to also pray for them. So, yeah, this Thursday is a day of prayer for other people. And for Friday, I devote it as a service project. So what do I mean by, you know, service project? Um, it's actually a day where um, you have to uh, give um, service to other people. May it be like uh, reaching out to others to share the gospel or asking others if there is anything that you can do for them. Or if there is any, like, even just listening to your friend um, if they wanted to talk to you about anything. But that would be something that you wanted to, you know, just um, reach out, reaching out to people, providing service. And Saturday is another free day. It's not a free day, like, wala ka nang gagawin or you, you won't do anything on that day. But that would be a day where um, you will devote uh, for yourself, you will devote um, something that you wanted to do apart from, you know, your whole entire weekday is a work day, right? So Saturday is a free day for you to do something for yourself. May it be your side hustle or something that would, you know, um, have you a free time to uh, do other things for for your own growth, like reading a book, doing um, scrapbook or crafting, painting, writing your journal, writing a poetry, etc. But to cultivate what God has given you as a talent or as a capability or as a skill. So that would be your Saturday, like a, a me day, but not just a me day, but actually cultivating what God has given you. So, there you go. That's that's actually my monthly spread. Okay, but before I end this, I also wanted to share with you um, my the day-to-day -day, um, spread that this uh, recollections planner offers. So on on this particular planner, let me just show you the the one that does hasn't penned yet. So daily. It will actually have like a daily verse and then next you will have observation and then like a tick box that I prayed today. So you see it ha it only has like a small space. So it will not be, you know, I don't think that it would be too cumbersome for you to do that. Like one verse a day and then just put in your observation what God has been telling you about that verse, right? So this is really good and if, if you will look at mine. Um, since I started on July 1, which is a Thursday, 
I started writing, what I did was, I started with uh, the book of Proverbs. Since Proverbs has 31 verses, uh, uh, rather 31 chapters, I think that it would be a great place to start this daily um, you know, daily Bible scripture reading. So, what I did is, for day one, I go through the entire Proverbs chapter one, and then I, you know, I write down the specific scripture that really speaks to me on that day, and then I write my observation here. And since I started on Thursday, July one, um, definitely the other days, like, it's just a space. So, what I did here is, um, Proverbs 3 uh, for Saturday really speaks a lot to me. It speaks a lot about reminding reminding me about what wisdom could, uh, could actually give me, right? So, it's another, um, I think I will just keep it for now as it is because, you know, sharing with you Proverbs 3 would mean... Um, another lengthy video so i'll keep that for another video um but i hope uh, i give you a glimpse of what i wanted to share with you that i hope can also help you do your bible journaling so that's it guys i hope um you learned something from t for today and if there is any questions that you have any requests that you have feel free to put it in the comment section i would really love to share with you uh, my different uh, daily Bible journaling, Bible verses, all of the things that I learned from. And it would really bless my heart um, to have you side by side uh, walking with me on this journey. So thank you so much. Thank you for all of your feedbacks, for your messages. I really appreciate it. Um, keep it coming. Share this video so that others will be able to you know, learn from it as well. Or if not, learn at least you know, they will get something from it, I hope, and I hope that I will be able to encourage more people to do their, you know, daily Bible verse reading or daily Bible journaling. That's it, guys. Thank you very much. Hope you will have a blessed day ahead and a blessed week for your work. Um, thank you and keep safe.